a very interesting article, which will be linked below, about a head of a church, the Church of the End Times, a so-called cult leader who basically, in Massachusetts, him and his brother, preach that the end is nigh. They make a good profit out of it, and interestingly, the building they use for their church also happens to be the building for their own business, their family business, which is, well, paving. And they run a church claiming the end is nigh. I've just got to wonder how those two things come together, you know? The end's going to come anytime soon. So let's make sure we pave the ground. You know, make of that what you will, but I just don't see the value in it. I mean, really, why would you wish to do something productive in society if it's all going to fall down soon? And that's precisely what they are preaching. And they were arrested. But still, an interesting story of an end times cult operating out of a business with the pastor who is, um, well, he's, he's even on YouTube claiming to remove a demon from people and claiming to have supernatural powers by using the power of Jesus. Ridiculous, isn't it? And there are so many reports you can find with quite a bit of ease on the internet of him carrying out exorcisms or of him uh, clearing away things, preaching. He, he looks like a long, really long-haired, scruffy version of Bill Hicks, actually. No offence to Bill Hicks, because he's dead anyway, but it's just crazy to have people like this actually promoting themselves on the internet. And they actually get people watching them and believing them when they put up their bullshit. But clearly, and obviously... They're achieving nothing of any value whatsoever. Apart from lining their own pockets, you know? I mean, how obvious can a scam be when a person with a already operating business decides to convert it, you know, from time to time into a church to preach, to carry out exorcisms and line his own pockets while looking like a drunken country and western singer. I mean, what the fuck?